some sleep. Freshen up, Count. You're so good. I know. You're so good. Look at the drawer. This? What is this? It's a letter from the director of the boarding school. They're expecting. Janice. Where's the boarding school? Somewhere near Valencia. So, we believe that I won't get back my daughter to send her to a boarding school the next day. Hmm? You didn't think she's going to stay with us, didn't you? The life we lead. One day she's going to see her mother. Yes. You're right. Another man in mother's bed. Not a good example to follow. Clever girl. We need to get some sleep. So well, that's not bad at all. And very interesting costumes. No matter how he always chooses the best. That's why she has uh, Tulo Seraphin as her conductor, and the actual costumes are done by Benoit. Even if she dances with no clothes on, it would hardly be good enough to take part in my ballet. And look at the audience. They can't take their eyes off her. This is not a ballet audience. This audience is ignorant. You understand uh, Count Costello will spare no expense to uh, arrange this show with you, don't you? Is the Count involved in the contract? Yes. Well, of course, as the contract stipulated. Well, why didn't you say that before? Bravo! Bravo! 
tonight is very important, Count. Perhaps we could postpone this meeting with uh, Kroidorf till tomorrow. She couldn't wait to meet the Colonel. We spent lots of time and money trying to find him. Why postpone? Diaghilev is a very important impresario. Working with him and the Russians, it could be a great opportunity. You and I are doing quite well on our own, don't you think? Mata Harry is a European sensation. And you are her impresario. Yes, the exhibitionism must stop. Oh, may I help you? How much for all of it? Five hundred lire, please. I'll pay you five hundred apiece if you throw them at his witches and the shepherd. For God's sake, count. Here you go. Grazie mille. I'm going in. I don't want to see this. Andiamo. <laughs> Secret behind the great success of Villas and Bars. Huh? Uh, should it be you, uh, the music, uh, your leads? Huh? I am not the reason for this success, I assure you. Oh. Not even the music. music. Matahari, she's the real star of this ballet. Maestro! Maestro! Oh, no Please, Maestro, tell me. Uh, We'll have to make a little detour, Colonel. Colonel Sebastian Kroidorf, at your service, Count. And by the way, I had to skip dinner today. I was in such a rush. We can pop into the bar right now, if you wish. If the ball sinks down in the caviar, it means it's genuine. <laughs> and if it doesn't, it means... It means the ball is a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Opa. Wow. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to sign the contract. Gabriel? Yes. Pour champagne. Hello. Oh. oh, oh. Monsieur Diaghilev. I'm so glad to see you. The pleasure is mine. Sorry. I agree with love. <laughs> this is Colonel Kordov. I think we've met, sir. Yes, we have. We have to go soon to Amsterdam. Hmm. I'm sorry, monsieur. I will have to ask you to postpone the rehearsals. No, it is impossible. I cannot change the dates for the entire company. Not agree. We wrote this in the contract. I'm sorry, then. No one says no to Sergei Dagalev, but damn. Monsieur Dagalev, I have other priorities. My ballet will be remembered forever, and you will be soon forgotten. Uh, uh, Monsieur Dagalev, please, I... So cheerful! <laughs> What's a scoundrel? And this is the man you wanted to trust with Margaret's career. Hmm, forget him. The only thing that matters to me is to get back to my daughter. I'm not sure you understand. Diaghilev is the most important empresario in Europe. So? And so you should be calling him back. Why do we need this bear? He can go back to his Siberia. <laughs> I believe you didn't want him anywhere near Margaret because then she would stop depending on you. You're out of line. Hey, 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 gentlemen. No need to argue. Please. I'm sorry. Count. It's nothing. 
Well, sir, are you willing to help me? I am. Let's drink to that then. Are you going to do what we agreed, Colonel? Of course, my lord. If you do so, I'll put you in charge of one of my estates. It's good money and a chance to steal a little now and then. But if you don't... I assure you, my lord, I would never dream... If you don't, I'll send you back to the colonies where you belong. We're here. Wonderful. Would have some count. He's a count, but I'm a general. Count Costello, Madame Matarari, the city general. Good afternoon, Count. Sit down, dear. Well, let's start, shall we? I have agreed to meet with you out of respect for your family and for your country. As for the suggestions you made in your letter, I find them absurd. But why? Mother wanting to reunite her daughter. She's a dancer and a courtesan. General, only my respect to your home and you personally is keeping me from killing Monsieur McLeod right now and delivering the poor girl for his company for good. I think, Count, that status and class are not just empty words. We belong to a certain circle, whereas your companion is a... Uh... I'm a Spanish grande. Third Count Costello. There aren't so many people of my circle in the world, and definitely not in this room. I believe it's time to introduce our friend. Colonel! Colonel Croydon. <laughs> Brilliant. You haven't drunk away all your memory yet. Very good for you. Gentlemen, may I introduce you to Colonel Kordov? Kordov used to be a McLeod superior during the last years of his service in Sumatra. I will let you tell them the rest. It happened seven years ago. After McLeod was drinking a lot, his wife, well, you were his wife then. Where have you been? At the club. <laughs> In his drunken rage, he abused her constantly, to the point where she could take it no more. She asked for help from our chaplain, Father Bernard. There is the address of the Carmelites in Amsterdam. Margaret managed to get away before he did any more harm to her and her daughter. Since they were gone, he could not take out his rage on his family. He went straight to see Father Bernard and took it out on him. It wasn't my fault. He had a bad heart, brother. Explain this. Where is my wife? You strangled him, Captain. No, I just went to talk to him. He kept making absurd accusations. I got so angry. But I didn't think he would die. Murdered Captain McLeod. If anyone's to blame, it's her. 
Out of respect for your family, I covered it up, allowed your brother to resign without any investigation. But Colonel Unconscious has never been at ease, and probably will never be. Is that so? And the condition that would soothe the noble Colonel's conscience would be giving Jean-Louis back to this woman. General, you have more medals than the last time I saw you. Did you get them for the court battles against me? Hmm? <laughs> we need to talk in private. For a minute. Brother, this is complete. From now on, you call me General and Sir. Do you understand? You moron. You will give the girl back to that woman. I will not let anyone mess with my name. Is that clear? Sir, I want to tell you. Is that clear? Wipe your face, Captain. We will do what you ask. Wonderful. So we'll go to court tomorrow morning to, what was his name? Still back in. Royal George still back in. He's the one who has to make the decision in my favor and give me the custody documents. Stolbagen? Why Stolbagen? I barely know him. Don't underestimate yourself, General. It only took you two minutes to corrupt that honest man. It should not be different this time. Fine. Tomorrow, at 11, we'll have all the documents. If you want, you can spend some time with your daughter tomorrow morning. What? Why? We can give the man a chance to say goodbye to his own daughter. We'll come to get her at 12 noon. She better be ready. Gentlemen. Yes, thank you. The papers aren't ready yet. What do you want? I want to witness your conversation with the judge. You can't do what you're asking me to do. I have explained the situation to you. Why did you bring her here anyway? We can't discuss this. In front of a witness. That is what you wanted to say. That's exactly why I came here to see how one strikes a deal with justice. Trying to help you was a big mistake. <laughs> and help me what? Find justice. Please, don't let my presence embarrass you. Is your daughter still married to a staff officer, Your Honor? Yes. And no one is hindering his career? No. And he will keep advancing in the ranks. Sign it. Huh. He is that simple. God. How pathetic. The rest doesn't interest me. Are we waiting the papers outside? Good day, 
gentleman. So come, just tell us, called you over here. Yes, yes, yes. You said you were going to expose a judge. <laughs> I certainly am. Behind this door, just till balcony is preparing a court resolution in my favor in a deal with General Virtual. An illegal resolution? Absolutely legal. And it took me years to get it legally. Yes, yes. We've been briefed about your situation, madam. Oh, here's the gentleman I told you about. And here is the ruling. They're all yours, gentlemen. Gentlemen, please. One question. If you want to just a few questions. Please, excuse me. So, you got what you wanted. Margaret. You okay? McLeod and my daughter. I am Lucas Collar, the landlord. This is my apartment. As for Captain McLeod. Where the hell is he? McLeod and his daughter moved out without notice this morning. He's related to you, is that correct? He owes me money. If someone does not pay, I will have to go to court. Where are they? I don't know. Answer me now! I don't know, I swear, I don't know. I, I came here to get my dues. Your dues? My dues. They ran away. Don't worry. We'll find them. I'll hire detectives. Of course we'll find them. It's Virgil. I'm sure. Who doubts us enough the guts, the weed, the money? I think the general secretly helped him. Why? To hurt me and to mess with you. But he will deny everything and go away free and take my documents. What if it's not him? Are you Horvitz, head of the Paris branch of the Pickerton Agency? 
Yes, Counselor. Do you know who I am? It's my job to know. Count Jesus Castello, friend of the King of Spain, an enemy of the Prime Minister. I have a very delicate matter to discuss with you. Please. Please. There's a woman. Margaret Zill, if I'm not mistaken. She has a daughter. For many years, Margaret has tried to take custody of her child from her ex-husband. Recently, she succeeded. With your help? Yes. Unfortunately, I could not resist her wishes. But secretly, I persuaded her husband to run away with their daughter. I gave him money and sent him to some trusted people. And now Matahari has canceled all the performance. Refused to leave the house and doesn't want to see anyone. Am I right? Yes. I want you to give her hope. So you will travel the world looking for Rudolf and Jan Louis McLeod. But never find them. You're a very smart man. I value your praise. However, our agency has a very reputable name. It will be unwise to tarnish it with a successful search. I will pay double rates. And you will send me a weekly report of your search progress. It's not easy to fake a convincing search. How much do you need? Triple. And tomorrow I'll send you my people to yours. I agree. You won't get this letter, my dear nun, because I don't even know where you are. But I will keep writing, because someday I will find you. And we can read all these letters together. I know now that I must be stronger than I have ever been. And I will be strong for you. There is no one can stop me, nothing I will not do. If I need money, I'll make it. If I need power, I'll take it. I swear I will find you, my darling, no matter what.
On Wednesday, we moved the man you told us about from Marseille, Frau Schreibmuller. On Friday, you were supposed to be taken to Germany. I already know this, Herr Kramer. He wasn't duly protected. Why? We're 12 men guarding him. I'm sorry. It was all I could provide. 12 apostles couldn't save their Christ. And Ramon Cortez is much more important to Germany. Frankly speaking, this Cuban looks like a coward and a liar to me. So full of himself, trying to order us around. Do you think it's a good excuse for you? We're here. We didn't touch anything. Our agent's been watching the house. Welcome, Signora. They knocked on the door using your code. The agent opened the door and was killed before he could fire his gun. The intruders were very professional. Two agents rushed to attack, but they cut one's throat and stabbed the other. A fourth agent appeared and fired several times before they shot him. And the man fell down. The intruders went upstairs, where they encountered two more agents and killed them. This man was wounded by two bullets. They finished him off with a shot to the head. This one was used as a human shield. left his card. Don't be afraid. You're under my protection now. That's what those other men told me too. Now I can only pray for them. I curse the day I got involved. Another move like this, and you will ruin the party. Check. Elizabeth. Leave us. Cortes was kidnapped by Jesus Costello. That's his family crest. So the man who is essential to our negotiations with the Americans, who we've been hiding for years, he is now in Costello's hands. Yes. The Count is in Paris now. He will soon move Cortez to Spain. Then the Spanish will get the Black Men of America and get whatever they want. We need that leverage for ourselves, and Cortez is our best chance to get it by using the Spanish-American conflict against them. 
I understand. The Americans would make any deal. Rather than let the world know they blew up their own battleship in Havana's port. We can't let the Spanish get Cortez. We'll block all Spanish routes out of the country. We'll make Costello lie low. And look for other ways to get Cortez across the border. Good. You have all our agents in Spain, France, and England at your disposal. But you must act quickly and efficiently. An operation of this scale cannot go on long before the enemy gets wind of it. I agree. We'll find someone close to Costello to help us. Do you have anyone in mind? A perfect candidate. Have you ever heard of Matahari? Check. <laughs> Damn, you stymied me. You mean Matahari, the dancer? And Count's longtime mistress. Oh, well. I guess you could try. I don't try, Colonel. I do. Checkmate. Thank God it's you. I have to change into this trash. Walk around this artist's area for two hours to make sure I'm not being followed. So, you wanted to see me? I'm all ears. I'm going mad sitting here. When can I leave this place? As soon as possible. It's not an answer. Is that why you wanted to see me? No. I drew some pictures of the officers. The ones who talked about the explosion. I was working on the port. I was painting Havana, so beautiful at night. Then suddenly the ship exploded. Explosion, I saw fire. Heard people screaming, burning, drowning. And then I remembered hearing these officers talking about explosives, set to explode at the same time. If only I knew. I knew what they meant. I could have warned people. These Yankees. Do you know their names? No. But I drew them for those other men. For the Germans? They found out their names. I don't know. They gave me a paper and pencil and kept me in a cage, just like you do. Except they kept moving the cage from one place to another. Stop whining. Just be patient. Soon you're going to move to Spain. You will testify. And we will let you go. All the best to the she-devil. has lost his mind. He goes everywhere with that lady. It's a breach of common decency. Costello is rich and powerful, but the king's patience will not last forever. Ah, good evening, my dear Jesus. Good evening, Senor Ambassador. Happy to see you, Count. Senora.
You're Matahari, aren't you? I'm a big admirer of your talent. My name is Elizabeth Kramer. I'm Dr. Kramer's wife. My husband represents the Kramer Group here in Paris.